Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Supergeek and today we're going to take a quick look at Windows 11 developer build which got leaked online today. And uh, I got my hands on it and I have it running on my virtual machine right here. And uh, today I'm going to tell you a lot about it, like everything about it. And we'll see what are the new features and what are the changes that you can expect from Windows 11 when Microsoft will announce it in the upcoming event. So first, let me show you the setup process of Windows 11. So this is the setup process of Windows 11. This is the setup UI. And as you can see, the user interface is completely changed. And to recall, this user interface look a lot similar to the setup process, which we saw in Windows 10 X. Windows 10 X is a dead project by now but Microsoft has added a lot of features from Windows 10 X to Windows 10 11. So there's nothing to talk about in the setup process except for that Cortana is completely gone and the user interface is new. So let's get through this setup process first and then we're going to talk about Windows 11. So now we're on the desktop of Windows 11 and uh, first I'm going to confirm that so you won't feel like I'm doing something magical. So when, where? So this is Windows 11. And uh, as you can see right off the bat, that the start icon is changed. So Microsoft has changed the start icon in Windows 11. And this is what you're going to see on Windows 11. On the start menu, in the about windows and even on the boot screen so i'm going to show you the boot screen as well but first what we're going to do is we're going to restart so you get to see the boot screen as well and we're going to talk about the lock screen so let's restart this machine so as you can see the restart is uh, not worked on it's completely similar to what we have on Windows 10 right now. So let's wait to boot it up. So as you can see, the login screen has been changed. The icon has been changed. The login screen is completely similar. The boot screen is completely similar. And uh, we'll reach the login screen soon. So this is the login screen of Windows 11. There are no differences as I can say it looks exactly similar to what we have right now on Windows 10 so I'm going to log in quickly and uh, here you go Windows 11 uh, this is the start menu this is the start button this is the search button this is the task view and this is the widget this is one of the feature which Microsoft is working on quite a while and uh, this widget has been added to Windows 10 as well in recent builds. So this was that feature which you see on taskbar, uh, which you click on and you'll see different widgets. So this is the same thing that has been added in Windows 11. And the icons are centered. So that's a pretty nice feature. And uh, if you want this feature, so if you want this centered icons on your Windows 10 right now, I have a video on this so how you can get this look on your Windows 10 right now uh, you can go to the video in the i button above or in the description below so let's talk about the taskbar first and as you can see there's no more context menu on the taskbar you will only get this small feature which takes you to the taskbar settings I'm going to talk about that later so let's uh, talk about the taskbar first and uh, then we'll move on to the other things. So the taskbar has the centered icons and uh, there are a setting which will let you choose the position of this icon on the taskbar. If you want them on the leftmost, you can do that too. If you want them centered like this one, I really like it. So I keep them centered as it is right now. But I'm going to show you how the left-sided icons looks like so if we go to left so as you can see there is an animation as well which looks really smooth 
See, it looks really cool. I'm going to center them right now. See, it looks really, really cool. So, see the taskbar is done, I guess. There is nothing to talk about in the taskbar. Uh, oh yes, I should talk about the widgets as well. So widget is this section which have these three widgets on the top. Let's let them load. It's a little glitchy, but it works. So on the top left is the weather. On the top right is the stocks. Below are the sports thing. And uh, after that, it's all top stories and news. So as you can see, it's scrollable and you can interact with it as well see it's interactable and uh, go to the start menu so this is the new start menu which you're going to get on windows 11 and uh, as you can see it's completely reworked and it is the same start menu which we got on windows 10x so here are your all apps so this is the list let's go back and this is the start menu. These are your pinned apps. So you can interact with them with right click. And below is the recommended thing. And uh, you can resume to your work from this recommended settings. You can go to more and uh, it will take you to this recommended page, which will show you what are the apps you were working on previously and you can resume your work right from the start menu you don't have to open that app you can start it from the start menu so after that this is the user icon where you can lock unlock or change account settings and this is the power button so you can shut down restart and all that stuff so let's go back to the desktop so this is the search and as you can see it looks exactly similar to the search in windows 10 not a lot of difference so this is the task view and it shows your desktop and your running desk okay let me show you how these tasks look like open 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 all right so let's go to task view and as you can see you have rounded corners here as well now let's move on to the action center so as you can see the action center is completely similar except for that the toggles have rounded corners that's pretty neat to look and there is a brightness slider which have a ui change like it looks like this right here but i don't have it right now because I'm running it on my virtual machine and uh, the notifications are completely similar to Windows 10 but I think that Microsoft will do something about it like Microsoft will change something as it is a developer build so enough about the action center let's move on to the file explorer so the file explorer is also exactly the same except that the icons are completely different they're completely redone i really want microsoft to make windows 11 more consistent than what we have this windows 10 garbage all right so what else is new what else what else so microsoft edge of course is completely new and yes this snapping animation has been changed as you can see it's solid instead of translucent i don't know it may be that my graphic graphic uh, drivers are not working on my virtual machine so it may not be showing this translucency but the animation is changed as you can see the animation is completely new see it's a lot slower but it looks real clean right and uh, except this there's nothing more to talk about yes so this is one more feature uh, related to snapping windows so if you hover over this uh, restore icon you will see this new four features where you can snap windows just with, with just one click 
So what you can do is you can click on this and it will snap window on that corner. So you just have to hover your cursor over this Visto icon and it will ask you about where to snap the window. And that's pretty neat feature. I really like it. And uh, I don't know, we really didn't want this feature, but Microsoft is adding this anyway, because doing this is a lot fun than doing this. Right? Right? Do you guys agree with me? Please tell me in the comments. Now let's talk about the settings. So let's go to settings. So as you can see, the settings menu is completely similar to Windows 10, except for that the icons, the menu icons are a little bit different. Microsoft has worked on them and uh, removed the sharp edges and uh, Microsoft has added curves to all the new icons. So if you go to the personalization, you will see that there are new backgrounds, new wallpapers in Windows 11. So these are backgrounds. If you go to pictures, so these are the new wallpapers that you get on Windows 11. And uh, this one right here is the hero image of Windows 11. So this is the default wallpaper, which we got after the setup on Windows 11. And uh, I think Microsoft is going to promote Windows 11 with this hero image. I don't know, Microsoft may change it in the official release, but this is what we got on Windows 11 build, this Windows 11 build. Let's see what Microsoft will do with wallpapers in Windows 11. Now go to taskbar and as you can see, the taskbar setting is a little bit changed not a lot but a little bit changed and as you can see on the top is uh, that you can arrange the icons in the left and in the center so the taskbar alignment setting has been added so one more feature which i spotted in windows 11 is that microsoft has added this open in windows terminal in the context menu now you don't have to keep pressing shift to get that feature in context menu and if you click on that, it will open the PowerShell, as you can see, with that folder open in the background, on the terminal, sorry. And uh, you can go to command prompt and it has that folder opened. So that's pretty cool feature. But what's funny in this build is that if you still press shift and right click, it will show you one more option here. So what's the meaning of this option? I don't know. It's the developer build, so it's a small um, bug. I don't say bug, it's a small glitch, which Microsoft will clean or may not clean in the final build of Windows 11. So let's close this. So that's it for the Windows 11 build. And now you guys tell me which features you like the most and what are the features that you want Microsoft to add in the final version of Windows 11. So that's it for now guys. Hope you liked the video. Hit the like button, get subscribed and I'll see you in the next one.